This is part 2 of the video on the hot tip galvanizing process. In the previous video, we discussed the hot dip galvanizing process as dipping iron and steel articles or products into chemicals such as hot caustic solution, hydrochloric acid, hot flux, molten zinc and preservation chemical. We then presented the schematic diagram of a hot dip galvanizing plant and mention the relevant standards as the BSEN ISO 1461 and the ASTM A123M-13. In this video, we will discuss the quality assurance requirement for compliance to these standards. Both these standards are popular with engineers and are fairly similar in content. But in this video, we will focus on the BSEN ISO 1461. Within the BSEN ISO 1461 are five main topics, namely scope, general requirements, acceptance, inspection and sampling, coating properties and certificate of compliance. Let's focus on part four, table two required number of test reference area for testing. This table tells us about the number of test area, that is any article above 2 meters square would require at least 3 samples. Any articles above 100 centimeters square or less than 2 meters square would require 2 samples and etc. Table 3 states the coating minimum thickness and mass on samples that are not centrifuged. This standard requires local coating thickness for steel that is above 6 mm thickness to be above 70 micron or mean coating thickness should be 85 microns. For steel that is between 3 mm and 6 mm thickness, the local coating thickness must be 55 microns and more, or the mean reading must be above 70 microns, and etc. The instrument used for this coating thickness measurement is the Alcometer Model 312 or other models. This digital magnetic coating thickness gauge or any other brand is acceptable. This thickness gauge is supplied with the zero plate and four thickness foils, namely 50 microns, 125 microns, 250 microns and a 985 micron thickness foil, which are used for calibration. As the 985 micron is seldom used, it's not included in this discussion. Before taking any readings, calibrate the alchemeter by placing it on top of the zero plate and check the reading. Adjust if necessary to read zero. Then insert the blue foil on top of the zero plate and check the reading again. It should read 50 microns. Repeat this process with the brown foil of 125 microns followed with the white colored foil at 250 microns. This completes the calibration and the gauge is now ready for coating thickness measurement. Let's go back to the hot dip galvanizing process and after the final treatment in preservation chemical, the iron and steel products are transferred to the quality assurance department and the articles are removed from the jigs with wire cutters or unhooked from chains. The galvanized articles are checked for uncoated areas, sharp zinc drips at drain out points, which is solidified pure zinc. The pure zinc freezes when zinc is still draining from the article as it is going into the preservation chemical. These sharp zinc drips or lumps are easily removed by an electric grinder or manually removed with a file. After quality check, the articles are stacked and packed. 
a quality assurance officer checks and records the coating thickness and compares the reading with both tables 2 and 3 mentioned earlier. A yellow inspector tag is attached to the article and the final galvanized weights are recorded. The coating thickness records are kept for the issue of galvanizing certificate which is provided on customer's request. In the next video, we will discuss the hot dip galvanizing on handrails or tubular products. Meanwhile, please visit our website www.galvaco.com for more information and thank you for watching this video.